Welcome to Twin Chevy Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Cheat on Dolphin Emulator Android, helping you have a lot of fun and taking you back to the good old days of action replay codes and gecko devices whilst playing your retro games. Now before we begin, I hate doing this kind of thing so I'll be quick, but 99% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel and I understand why. You get the information you need and you don't need me again. So I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, although it will help, but I am going to ask you to hit the like button if you find the information useful. Sorry to be that guy let's get back to the tutorial so let's take a look at using cheats on dolphin emulator we're going to be using gecko codes and action replay codes i'm going to be inputting some of our own codes as well so let's say for example we're using super mario sunshine as an example if i hold on super mario sunshine and press edit cheats there are already a bunch of action replay codes already on the emulator and there's a couple of gecko codes as well now if i wanted more gecko codes just to check to make sure if there's any more gecko codes for this game i'd click download gecko codes and it says file contains no code, so there's no more gecko codes to download and I'd have to input any new gecko codes or action replay codes myself. And then to turn on the cheats, I would just tick the ones that I want on before I play the game. And when I go back, it would save it and I'd be able to open the games. I'd have infinite health, infinite jetpacks. Some of these codes can break the game sometimes, so if you are having trouble, then I'd turn one of them off. I'd recommend using widescreen codes and there are some 60 FPS codes that you can get from the internet and input yourself. And just to give you an example, if I go to a game that doesn't have any codes automatically installed, so if I go to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, click Edit Cheats and then I click Download Gecko Codes. 163 codes have been added to this game and I can now turn these off and on at will. But let's say there is a game code that isn't on the game that you want to play. For example, let's say we go to Super Mario Galaxy 2, I click Edit Cheats, I click Download Gecko Codes, and there's no codes available to download. I'm going to have to add all of these in myself. So what do we do? Well, first we go to an internet browser, and we Google Super Mario Galaxy 2 Gecko Codes, and find one of the sites that has all of the codes listed. Now, one thing you want to make sure of is that your game code matches the one that's at the top there. So we can see SB4E01. So if we go back into Dolphin Emulator, SB4E01. So let's go back to Google Chrome. Yep, they do match. So now we can start adding these codes. So let's choose one of these codes and I'll show you how to import it. So we'll go to Invincible to Enemies because that's a really simple one to show on screen. So if I click on that and we get need all of this code here, this number, and we go copy. And we'll go back to Dolphin Emulator and add new Gecko code. So in the code section here, this is where we'll put the code. So I'll copy that in. And then I'll put the name of it, Invincible. And create a note, so don't need to put any of that in. And there we go, that one's in. Go back. As you can see, I now have the Invincible code on my Gecko code. I'll turn that on and then we'll go quickly into the game and see if it works. So we'll go into Boulder Ball Galaxy. There are lots of things that could potentially kill us here, and we have the invincibility cheats on, so in theory, we're not going to be able to die. Not from getting hit by enemies anyway. Lots of enemies to start this off. And let's test it out. That's it, hit me in the face. Nope, nothing. No hit marker, absolutely nothing. We must be furious right now. And if you want to turn that off, we just go out of the game, go back to edit cheats and turn it off. It's as simple as that. And the same works for action replay codes. Some games use action replay codes. Some games use gecko codes. Action replay codes are more on the GameCube side of things in GameCube games. So let's find a game that uses action replay codes. So let's go to Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. If we go to Edit Cheats, you see there is already a lot of action replay codes in here. I haven't put these in here, by the way. These were already, these were already somehow in the emulator, perhaps, or maybe they are on the disc. But they are, there are a lot here already. So first, download Gecko codes. See, I don't think there will be. Yep, there's no codes for that. But let's say I wanted to add my own code. If I go down here. I go to add new AR code and I do the same thing. I put the name of the code in here and then I'd copy and paste the code. I go to Google, type in Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes action replay codes. Then I make some mistakes and Google will be like, did you mean this? And I'll be like, yeah. Now a great place to get action replay codes is either Almar's Guides or Code Junkies. Code Junkies US if you're using the US version of the game or Code Junkies UK if you're using the UK version of the game. And I'll leave links to these in the description down below. 
But if I go to Almaz Guys, which is one of my favourites, along with Code Junkies, I scroll down and there are some action replay codes for the US version with links to the UK version as well, if that's what you're using. A lot of these I already have, but just to show you how it is, I'll go with... We'll go with it FPS mode, which is something I've never actually used before. So this turns the game into an FPS shooter, I'm guessing. It says, don't leave on when entering cutscenes or doing story events. It can get buggy. So if we go copy, go to code, paste that code in, and we want FPS mode. Click OK. Go back. And if we scroll, there's the new cheat. FPS mode will turn that on. So we've got our new FPS mode on, and we're going to go into the game and check it out. But I'm just going to make sure, one thing, we're going to have the stealth suit on. And I'm going to give myself a bunch of other things as well, just to show you that these cheats work. I'm going to give myself infinite rations, infinite medicine, infinite bandages, or give myself a gas mask, night vision goggles, just, just everything that I need to complete the game without actually having to play the game. So let's start Metal Gear Solid, and we'll check out our new FPS code as well that we put in. So we're in the game and I just press L2 and go into my inventory and look, I already have the ketchup, I have the stealth, so I can breeze through this bit. I have the PSG, I have the M9. So let's, we're gonna have to get through this section here because if I go into FPS mode, then it won't do it just yet. So let's get into F, I keep pressing the wrong button. So let's get into FPS mode to check the cheat, I hold R1. And then I press up on the C stick, and that's just sticking in first person mode. It really is a weird experience trying to play this game, especially considering there is no analog support, so it's basically like tank controls. But it is an interesting concept to just to see if the cheats actually work. Uh, how do I use my gun here? There we go. Uh, we cannot move and shoot. We are using tank controls like Resident Evil. It would be a great mod for someone to make to turn Metal Gear Solid into a first person shooter just to see from that perspective. But if you want to mess around with cheats, this video isn't about that. This video is basically about how to get the cheats running. Now we have our cheats running to get out of it. I press down on the C stick and get out of first person mode. And there we go, we're back in third person mode. The cheat is off. Beautiful, the cheats work. That's all, that's all that matters about this video. We're not going deep into this. I can play this game for hours on an end, but that's not what I'm going to do. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to really know about Gecko codes, action replay codes, and things like that. Gecko.org, the cheat set that used to hold all the Gecko codes, has been shut down. But there are some beautiful places on the internet. Everyone on the internet does like to preserve these things. There's a couple of Google sites that have been set up with all of the codes there, so you can find them. Also, Dolphin Emulator works quite well with most games that download it automatically. So, for example, Kirby's Epic Yarn, if I go into that, edit cheats, download gecko codes. Ah, no codes, no dice, so I'm going to have to find them and automatically put them in as well. It is kind of annoying because you should be able to download these automatically and they just all appear on the game. Like, for example, I just went on Super Mario, New Super Mario Brothers and all the AR codes are in there. But there is no gecko codes. For some reason, Zelda Ocarina of Time managed to work and do it, but... Like I say, these code these these websites get shut down, and there are places still on the internet to find all of the codes, and you can manually import them yourself, which is why I made this video. If you found this information useful, then please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Check out all of my videos on Dolphin Emulator, on Android Phone, on Windows. I'm going to be doing Mac OS. I'm going to be doing iPad OS. I'm going to be getting Dolphin running on absolutely everything I possibly can in the next couple of months and I'm going to have all of those videos here on this channel so if that's something you're interested in then please subscribe to the channel uh I'm rambling here you don't need to put notifications on because honestly I don't have notifications on on any of the YouTube channels that I subscribe to because notifications are annoying and I don't really care if you watch all of my videos I just I just like I would just like to see if you would I, I would just like I would just like some. I would just like. I would just like people to show support to the channel because for some reason subscribers equals growth on this platform. Even though I get like a hundred thousand views per month on my videos, even though I get over a hundred thousand views on all my tutorials, YouTube will not push them unless I have a lot of subscribers and I'd like to reach more people. I'd like to get more people interested in emulation on Android. I am absolutely loving using it on Android at the minute. Um, especially with the Razer Kishi, I'm going to be looking at trying to get like PSP games running. I want to get like an old school retro 
I want to get, I want to take a look at Game Boy games and things like that. So help all that happen. Uh, I don't know. People aren't here. People don't watch this far into the video. If you're still here, then type sausage in the comments. I'm hoping to get all my videos have the word sausage in the comments. Uh, that's that's my goal. My goal for 2023 is to have the word sausage all over all of my comment section. Take care. Have a wonderful year. You are all fantastic. Whether you hit that like button or not, you are still a fantastic person. And remember, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Keeps videos done.